It's a pleasant afternoon in June. Mel and his best girl, Thera, are enjoying a ride. Well, he's enjoying it. She's not too happy about the way he drives. He's got a good car and he likes to show what it can do. Hey, you're supposed to slow down for a school crossing. Mel doesn't slow down for anything. See that jalopy up ahead? Watch him pass it. These boys have their opinion of such big shots. Uh-oh. Perhaps Mel's not such a big shot after all. Here we go again. He's used to this. Paying a fine won't be any hardship for Mel. It doesn't mean a thing to a phony like that. Mel's determined to overtake the jalopy and cut the driver down to size. The man wants to know if Mel's going to compete or watch. Mel's going to do whatever that jalopy does, only better. Many boys like Mel were a public problem until in 1950, someone had the idea of turning this abandoned airstrip into a legitimate test course for hot rods. Here, they compete under strict rules designed for safety and fair play. This strip at Santa Ana was so successful that others were opened up across the country. Hundreds of clubs have been formed. The Hoodlifters, the Arabs, Throttle Jammers, Shifters, Chaparrals, Huckle Busters, Clutchers Club, Dusters, Sidewinders, and others with equally fanciful names. Automatic expulsion faces any member who races on the public highways. As a result, the juvenile nuisance problem has been reduced as much as 90% in some communities. Here's Mel and the Jalopy. The flagger thinks Thera better get out. There they go. Sideline experts. Mel can't believe it, but it's happening. He's left behind. Far, far behind. He's humiliated and angry. His one thought is to find Thera and get away. There she is. Talking to the fella that just beat him. He's giving her his card. And she's taking it. This is the last straw. Mel refuses to be impressed. His defeat by the jalopy was a challenge, a challenge he has accepted. He'll have some tall explaining to do about this heap of junk he's bringing home. He knows he can handle his folks. He's equally sure he can breeze through the job he's undertaken. In the next weeks, he learns a lot. 
the most important thing being how little he knows.